English for teachers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to lesson three of part one. And I've been joined with a very enthusiastic learner and someone who is very much avid to learn something new. And I've been joined with. Okay, so my name is Tazmin Tayyiba Tanisha, but you can call me Tanisha because that's my nickname. All right, great. So, can I call you Tan? Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, that sounds good. Now, Tan, we're going mm -hmm. to review the whole thing. That is the IPA sound chart. So, my first question to you would be, what is the full form of IPA? Well, the full form of IPA is International Phonetics Alphabet. Okay, yeah, great. That's the correct answer. And... A IPA sound chart is total 44 sounds and a total sounds but mainly it can be divided into two parts so what are the two parts it can be divided into well the two parts are 24 consonant sounds and 20 vowel sounds correct so 24 plus 20 is equal to 44 mm -hmm. so 44 sounds in total and Consonant ke abar dui bhaage bhaag kora jai. So let's see. 16 voiced consonants and 8 voiceless consonants. Yeah, right. Voiceless consonants. Now, what do you mean by voice consonants? Let me show you an example. Let's say, if you say ba, mm -hmm. can you whisper, I mean, ba, can mm -hmm. you try? Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. But can you say, let's say, ta? Can you do that? Ta. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, you can say it like this. Ta. I mean, ta, ta, ta. I mean, see, it's voiceless. I mean, yep. if you put your three fingers on your throat, and if your throat doesn't vibrate while pronouncing the sound, that means it's a voiceless consonant if it doesn't vibrate and if it vibrates that means it's a voice consonant so let's do some more experiments all right so let's put your three fingers on the middle of your throat right. and say g g so did it vibrate yeah it did all right that means it's a voice consonant and can you try saying k k yeah, it didn't vibrate. Yeah, it didn't vibrate because you can say it like this. So, there are some sounds uh, that are voiceless and there are some sounds that are voiced. I mean consonants. So, in total, there are 16 voiced consonants and 8 voiceless consonants. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 16 plus 8 is equal to? 24. 24. That's how we got 24 sounds. And now comes the classification of vowel sounds. Alright, so how many parts can we divide this vowel sound into? Two parts. What are they? 12 monophthongs and 8 diphthongs. Alright, so 12 and 8 equals to 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 12 monophthongs and 8 diphthongs and it equals to 20. But 12 monophthongs can also be divided into two parts. It's a big, big tree. Okay, so 12 monophthongs can be divided into? Two parts. Okay, and what are they? They are seven short vowel sounds and five long vowel sounds. Okay, let us move on to the next page. And we are going to learn the 24 consonant sounds. Okay. Our amra hoche short vowel and long vowel are kotorta it important. Amra koikti example dekli butsta barbo. So anticipating all of your cooperation. Okay, ten. So are you ready for the twenty four consonant sounds? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, you are ready. So are you ready or are you Tanisha? I am ready, but my name is Tanisha. So you are. Uh, you are. Ready, but my name is Tanisha. Uh, no, I'm feeling ready, but my name is Tanisha. So you are feeling ready, and your name is Tanisha. Yeah, we're gonna move on to twenty-four consonant sounds. Uh, okay, yeah. 
So this is how you can confuse a little kid. Okay. So let's follow the six beat system. Yeah, you can use your finger snaps or claps. Okay. For the time being, I'm going to use the finger snaps. Okay. Let's start. Pa pa pa. Pa pa pad. Ba ba ba. Ba ba bad. Pad bad. T t t. T t time. D d d. D d dime. Time dime. K k k. K k king. G g g. G g go. King go. I wonder where will the king go, but never mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one. F f f. F f fan. V v v. V v van. Fan van. S s s. S s c. Z z z. Z z z. C z. Sh sh sh. Sh sh shall. J j j. J j usual. Shall usual. Ch ch j. Ch ch chin. J j j. J j jin. Jin jin. Th th th. Th th thanks. D d d. D d this. Thanks this. Ya ya ya. Ya ya yes. Wa wa wa. Wa wa west. Yes west. M m m. M m man. N n n. N n nun. Ing ing ing. Ing ing ring. Man nun ring. Now these three sounds are called nasal sounds. Up now, Judy. I mean, if you put your fingers on the top of your nose, not inside, definitely. Remember, it's the top. And if you try to say m m, so you see the sound is coming from your nose. So that's why these three sounds are called nasal sounds. Moving on to the next one. L l l. L l light. R r r. R r right. Ha ha ha. Ha ha height. Light, right, height. Ha ha ha. Happy learning. Happy learning. Okay. I mean, we are not done yet. So we have got seven short vowel sounds. Okay. Let's do it. We are gonna follow the same system. E e e. E e it. U u u. U u good. E e e. E e met. A a a. A a mat. A a a. A a understand. A a a. A a again. E sounder naam hoche shwa. S C H W A shwa sound. I mean it's very short, like a again, again. You barely can hear this sound. Okay, next one. A a a. A a octopus. Great. So these were. The short vowel sounds. Moving on to the long vowel sounds. E bead. E bead. Okay, I mean it's very good if you want to show your teeth. You do like E, and your teeth will be demonstrated to other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the next one. Ah, bud. Ah, bud. O, board. O board. I mean, this board is something else. B O A R D, mm -hmm. not B O R E D. That's mm -hmm. board. I mean, you're feeling boring. I mean, you are definitely not feeling boring. Yeah. Hopefully, and the next one, a bird. A bird. U food. U food. Great. So as I was discussing about the importance of short and long vowel sounds, that is, let's say, s i t and s e a t. One is sit, sa ita, another is seat, s e a t, sa ita, seat. So if you use it in a sentence, let's say, 
can I sit on that seat, please? Or if you just reverse it, it will be like, can I sit on that seat, please? I mean, it's just completely, it won't make sense. The native speakers won't understand you. Okay, now we have got some more words to practice. So you can do the practice on your own. Practice, practice and practice. That's the key. Moving on to diphthongs. What do you mean by diphthongs? Diphthongs are when two monophthongs are together. They are called diphthongs. Let's say E, A. These are two monophthongs, E and A. Monophthongs are single sounds. So E and A, they're together. So they form E, A. So E, A, it's a diphthong. In a similar fashion, let's finish all these diphthongs. These are also called half circle sounds. Let's start. A, bay. A, day. A, say. A, may. I, buy. I, die. You die? No, I didn't. Okay, you didn't die? Mm -hmm. Then why did you say I die? Because it's in the book. Okay, yeah, that's a good reason. I, my. I hi. I don't lie. I don't lie. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now the next one. Oi toy. Oi joy. Oi enjoy. Oh so. Oh go. Oh no. Oh low. Oh you're so slow. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, no doubt about that. Tall right. turtle. Okay, now the next one. Ow, now. Ow, now. Ow, how. I mean, you know, ow can be a Hindi word. Idhar ow. Yeah. So that ow, ow now. I mm -hmm. mean, you come here right now. Yeah. Okay. So ow, cow. Okay, yeah. So you can call a cow like that mm -hmm. next time. And yeah, moving on to the next one. Ear, here. Ear, tear. Ear, near. Air, hair. Air, tear. Air, chair. T E A R like her. In the actor who said tear, did I say choker jol? I mean, this means not your eyes is house. This means your eyes water. I mean, the drops when you cry. Okay, sometimes happy, sometimes sad. Happy tears, sad tears. Okay. Now, the next one is tear. Tear means... You can tear a paper. Yeah. That is Chirefella. I'm just a bully bangle. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uo tour. Uo sure. Uo lure. Okay, congratulations. We are done with 24 consonant sounds, 7 short vowel sounds, 5 long vowel sounds, and 8 diphthongs. Congratulations. And. From the next page, we are learning some more words with beats, alright? There are many, many, many words, so get ready. I mean, we're not gonna do so many words, it will take a lot of time. But still, we're gonna do it, no worries. 